Oh, hello there. I wondered when you'd arrive. Welcome to my new modded Minecraft series. We're playing better Minecraft with a few additions, so if you want to know what's in the mod pack, check the description below. Or if you want to become a channel member, or join my Patreon below to gain access to my Minecraft server, then the details are there as well. But let's jump in and play some better Minecraft colonies. Oh man, the world has just begun. The world is fresh. The world is new. Now, there are two important things. Ooh, so we've got a starter chest, of course. Let's just suck up all of these things. Delicious. <laughs> so, this is Minecraft, and there are two universal truths whenever you start a new Minecraft game. Number one is that you will need to sleep when nighttime comes, so get some wool. And number two is you will also die if you run out of food, so make sure you keep yourselves topped up. So number one is track down some wool, and luckily enough, on the map, I already see some sheep. Where are these mother truckers? There we go. So we're going to need uh, probably some shears to get these guys down. Uh, and this looks like a tree. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at these apples. Oh, and I've got an axe. Amazing. Oh, looks like Ultimine comes as standard in this mod pack. And oh, look at this guy. Oh my god, this this pack has raccoons! Raccoons! Oh my god, I feel like Forrest Gump. This is amazing! So what mod pack am I playing? Well, this is better Minecraft. What is better Minecraft? Well, it's like Minecraft, but slightly better. It's not a mod pack that adds like loads and loads of tech and science and magic and stuff. It's basically just an overall improvement of the game. But this pack has so many mods that I've never even touched or played, so for me, it's really creating a brand new world of Minecraft for me to explore. Oh, okay, so I need, uh, <laughs> I think I need some, uh, some iron if I want to make some shears. There's no wooden shears with these mods. So yeah, I'm very excited to explore this brand new Minecraft world, but also what it means is I can play Mine Colonies with Create mod. Oh yeah, wait, hang on a sec, that raccoon stole my mutton. You s oh my god, he ate it. That is, I, I am both disgusted and amazed that a raccoon just stole our food. That's amazing. Oh, man. There you go. Try and steal this one, sucker. So as luck would have it, look at this. We've already got three white wool and some planks, so let's make a bed and guarantee our safety. Already we've conquered the first night. Now, if you do want to play along with me at home, all the details you need are in the description below. The mod pack, the mods that I've added. If you want to add shaders as well, there's details on that too. But also if you want to know the world seed. So the first world seed we tried was Sephira, after the dragon from my All the Mods 6 series, which you should definitely check out if you haven't seen already. However, that seed kind of landed us in the desert and it was a really horrible seed. So we went with a different word and the second seed we used was bow, which we named after our dog that we brutally massacred to make the Morgan sword progress, right? And it quickly seems that, honestly, this seed looks so much better. I mean, look at this map. First up, the map is way better than any mod pack I've played so far, but this looks freaking amazing. I mean, look at all this open space. Perfect, I think, for mine colonies. Now, we've also got a village here, and there's a village down here. There's a crazy village over here as well. Honestly, this all looks really amazing, and I can't wait to start exploring. Also, check it out on the map, there's somebody called a gatekeeper. I don't know what that is, or who he does, or yeah, that's, that's what I meant, right? But I'm definitely keen to find out. Oh, gatekeeper, open your gates for me. He's got like a cool necklace, or is that just like his, his clothes? Oh, what the hell? Blue skies. So for a book, he'll give me a journal on blue skies, and for eight emeralds, he'll give me a zeal lighter. Well, I don't have any zeal cigarettes, so I don't think I want that. But let's raid his house for any goodies, because obviously that's the best thing about a village is that you can go through it and take all of somebody's stuff. Oh yeah, like for one, you won't need these furnaces, my friend, but I will. So what is this guy? Oh my god, this guy's got nothing. What a massive scrub. Well, we'll leave his lights because it's a quite, it's quite a nice looking house and I feel guilty. Oh, we didn't even need to make a bed, we could have stole this one. So there's one other house here, let's go and raid that too, see what's in here. Aha, now this has got the real juice. Lunar stone bricks. Oh, of course, he's like a portal guy, and this looks like a lunar portal. Ah, so a zeal lighter, I reckon. This looks like the shape of another portal. 
And I reckon if I use a zeal lighter, it's like using a flint and steel on an obsidian gateway and I think it will make a portal. So with that in mind, we can get rid of the fletching table and probably steal his smithing table as well because that could come in handy too. Oh yeah, the bee's knees. A maple crafting table. I think that's just a crafting table made out of maple wood. So we'll leave it be. You can have that, my friend. And we don't want to make any enemies this quickly into the series, so we're going to leave him to it. Oh man, look at these flowers. This is an amazing biome. Let's get a bird's eye view to take a look at this beautiful scenery. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. That looks amazing. I love it. Shaders. I mean, I know that they slow the game down, but they make it look so beautiful. So beautiful. So let's take a look at the map and survey the area. So we've come up onto this hill. There's a village kind of thing over here. There's a weird building over here. And then there's a very cool, very, very, very cool looking area over here. We're going to check out this building, then the town here, and then the city kind of thing over here and see what we've got going on in the area. Now, where is that house? It's got to be over there somewhere, right? Do I see it in the distance? Oh, yeah, look at that. Smoke on the horizon. That's the one. Now, like I said, we do have to worry about nighttime. However, I have a bed, which is great. This early into the game, that's going to save us a lot of trouble and strife. I'll grab some sugarcane for later because, oh my god, does that come in handy. Knock, knock, knock. It's your friendly neighborhood, me. Oh, oh my god. What the hell is this? So first up, advancement made the good place. Where, where are these advancements? Aha, here we are. When dungeons arise, a small prairie house. Well, that's what this is, I suppose. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, like a small prairie house. Now, because night is setting and I can see the stars, I reckon it's time to sleep. So what can I steal from this guy's house? This is kind of like an abandoned house, so I don't feel guilty about just raiding it for all its plunder. We'll just grab the books. Books are useful. In fact, uh, the villager we met wanted to trade for them, so that's amazing. There we go, mischief managed. Okay, and now what's in here? A couple of barrels. Oh, yes! Now this is what I'm talking about. Food. Glorious food. Honey. Oh, flashbacks to uh, feed the bees. A fisherman's hat! All amazing stuff. Well, let's see if I can put any of this on. So we have bauble slots here. Back, charm, backpack, and cosmetic. Fisherman's hat. Oh, looks really ugly. What about the butcher's headband? Oh, now that looks amazing. I'm like some karate dojo dude. Is that a word? Can that be a thing? A dojo dude? Yeah, sure. We're coining it right here. Dojo dude. A.K.A. Minecrafter. A.K.A. Um, karate man. Oh, and check this out. Lapis. Oh my god. Iron chest plate. Yes, please. Some apples. Always good. Iron boots. Oh my god. We're already kitted out to the nines. Look at this. Weaponsmith apron. Whoa. Oh, now that looks amazing. Now it is an armor decrease, but I do wonder if I can wear this cosmetically as armor. No. Oh, that's a shame, but it looks so cool. I think I want to put it on because honestly, I look the bee's knees in this mother trucker. Oh, yeah. Okay, and so that is the first house visited on our exploration. Next up, we're going to this village over here to see what's crack -a lacking There's a lot of cool, different, weird blocks. Look at this dirt. It's got like some weird grainy textures. I love that. It's so cool. It's going to make building in this mod pack a real joy. Now, as we go over to this town, it's time to think about what our actual goals are for this series. And like I said before, what I want to do this series is focus myself on mine colonies. We want to get a fully operational, fully defensible colony with all buildings level 5. Ooh, look at that crow. Looks like Odin smiles on me this day. But there's also slab fish. What the hell is a slab fish? Wait, is that a slab fish? <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of weird. Oh, look, it kind of like scoots across the... Oh, can they go on land? Oh, yeah, they can. Look at this. It's like a little penguin. Amazing. Hello. How you doing? Oh, do you want, do you want food? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This mod pack. I love it already. This is so much fun. 
So the goals for this episode are to explore the immediate area. We're going to find out what this town is, find out what this thing is. It looks crazy. And then we're going to find the ideal perfect spot to start building our mine colony. Ooh, now this is a very cool looking house. Wouldn't mind living here, but what is it? What's inside here? Oh, it's exactly the same. So we're just going to do the same thing. Pillage. Ooh, an emerald. And the real juice is always up in the attic, right? That's what they say. Oh, yeah, and now we've got some trousers. Delicious. Oh, my God, an eye patch would be very cool. Oh, oh my God, I look like some crazy pirate. I love it. Now... Now, there are new animals in this mod pack, which means there are new monsters. So I've got to be careful I don't run into something that will kick my ass or one-shot me. Okay, let's explore this village over here and see what's going on. Because this looks like a big old village. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's got like... Oh, wait, are these ruins? Yeah, this looks more like castle ruins than a village. Wait, hang on a sec. Ruins with lit campfires. I've played enough Skyrim to know this is a bandit camp if ever I saw one. So let's be careful. Be very careful. Oh, what's this? Oh, my God. Honey. Get the honey. Oh, my God. I'm actually learning things about Minecraft. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So, I think there are some prickly bushes here that I've got to be careful of. So, we're going to try and stay away from that. But let's keep exploring because there's got to be some good stuff here. There's got to be some good loot, right? It's ruins. There's always good loot in the ruins. Aha. Vines. More like makeshift ladder. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's something in here. Oh, my God. Emerald City. A librarian hat. Oh, there's just so much cool stuff. I desperately need a backpack. Oh, no. Oh, no. What, what, what poisoned me there? So I, I think I... Oh, it's Podzol. Okay. So Podzol poisons you. That's what it is. That's the only thing it could be. Wait, no. It, maybe it was the... Oh, my God. What's going on? I just... So poison can't kill you. Oh, it's poison ivy. Oh, my God. Of course. My old foe. I know you. Bit of parkour here to get to the chest. Oh, yeah, easy done. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh. I totally forgot I had, like, no health. Okay. Oh, now that's not a bee. That's a really dangerous-looking fly with, like, a massive snout. Oh, my God, it looks like Watto, doesn't it? Maybe that's, like, Watto's mum. Miwanawanga! Oh, hello! Wait, what? This isn't a grave. This is just my, my dead body. Oh, it's my corpse! Yes, please. Transfer items. Does it put my clothes back on? Oh, amazing! Yeah, cool. That's a cool twist on the, uh, on the gravestone mod, I suppose. So the question is, which mods did I add to this mod pack? So basically, the framework for this mod pack is better Minecraft, which just adds a whole lot of quality of life and variety and spice things to the game. Then I added Pam's Harvest Craft and Cooking for Blockheads because those are two amazing mods that are going to make cooking a lot more fun. Then I added Mine Colonies, of course, because that's the core of this series. We're going to build an amazing colony. But then I also added Create Mod because we want to add some really cool looking create things. Now, this is weird. It looks like a, a tent has spawned on top of a house and they've both built themselves within each other. That is bizarre. Okay. Weird. Ooh, a well. Well, well, well. Let's go and take a look. Oh, man, what is that? It's like a giant ball. I am all about the giant balls. Jump. Oh, oh my god. What do you guys... Do you, reckon I, do you reckon I should go in? He who dares. Oh, I thought there was going to be like some magic kind of like portal to another world. 
No, it's just a stinky old well. Oh, oh man. Oh man, that sucks. I was so sure that was going to be like some cool portal into another dimension. Well, okay, let's go and take a closer look at this absolute beast of a windmill. This thing looks freaking amazing. Whoa, is that? Oh, I thought that raccoon was trying to eat, eat the can. Which, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge him for that. Oh, yeah, look at all this wheat. Tasty wheat. Ooh, what? The? Oh, no. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. That crazy structure over there belongs to pillagers. In fact, this whole area is pillager central. So we're just going to get the hell out of Dodge. So, I have explored around a bit, and I feel like I know a little bit more about the world. I feel like now is the perfect time for us to start thinking about where we're going to put down our more permanent roots. That's right, it's time to think about where we're going to put our colony. Let's take a look and explore this giant zone a bit more, because, oh man, this, this map is actually huge, and absolutely brimming with possibility. So, let's cast our net out and see if we can find the perfect place to put down our colony. Now I hear what you're saying, hang on a sec, where do we get started with mine colonies? Well the first thing we need is either a supply boat or a supply ship, but you have to think carefully because as soon as you craft one, you cannot craft the other. So do we want a supply ship or a supply camp? Now usually you get better items from a supply ship, they're bigger, however we use a supply ship in Feed the Bees, so what I'm thinking is we're going to use a supply camp this time. Also, supply camps, much cheaper. And what do you get for a supply camp? Well, it costs five chests to make, and you get a whole lot more. It gives you a whole bunch of uh, stone tools. I think it even gives you iron tools, plus a whole bunch of food and materials to get started with. So even if you're not playing mine colonies, if your mod pack has mine colonies, a supply camp is a great place to start. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this eye patch is so cool. Okay, guys, well, I've done a little bit more looking around, a little bit more exploring, and I feel like I found the perfect spot. And no, it's not this really weird, very light pink biome behind me. It's this other one behind me, this red and green forest. It looks super cool. A look at the map, and can you imagine a colony that starts in the middle here, that slowly sprawls outwards. And as it sprawls outwards, we can dig up the trees to get loads of wood for free. It also broaches into the pink flower biome. It has a river, access to a lake, which could be really important for us going later. Honestly, I feel like this is the number one spot. So we're going to climb down from our mountain here, go right into the center of this, and uh, start to put down our very first building. All right, all right. Yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Oh, there's some bees here as well. Don't worry, they're friendly. Hello, my dudes. Now, we don't have resourceful bees for good reason. There's a reason. So basically, we didn't add any mods that would make gathering resources really, really, really easy, like mechanism that can turn one ore into like four or five bars. No, that's way too overpowered. That's way too cheaty. Likewise, resourceful bees was way too cheaty. And it's cool if you want to do that in a mod and get like thousands and thousands of iron. But we want to have like a legit bespoke experience here. And that's why we are focusing on mine colonies. And we're going to use mine colonies for as much resource generation as we can. Okay, so it's time to start thinking about where we're going to build our stuff. Now, I think that axes have, like, the ultimine effect, and if we dig this tree, it'll dig the whole thing. Let's find out. Oh. Well, maybe not, but let's give it another go. It was a very weak axe, so maybe we need to make another axe. And we've got the iron now, so we can afford to spare some of that. Okie dokie, here we go. Yeah, it does, it works. And, oh, and look at all this wood. So we don't, so we no longer need special tools or ultimine. We can just dig the whole tree in, uh-oh. Ah, now one of the other big problems about building in a forest is you will find enemies around here. Case in point, this rude mother trucker over here. Let's go introduce him to the sword or the ax, as it is. Now, am I going to regret building here? That's the big question. Is it going to be a real big regret? The area itself isn't that huge, but it should be okay. It should be big enough for us, right? Right? Tell me I'm right. We can always expand out towards the uh, the other biomes and things. I think this will be big enough. Yeah, it's going to be fine. So let's clear out a clearing for our camp. Now, the camp itself doesn't have to be anywhere near our stuff. In fact, it's almost better if you kind of like tuck it away in the corner. Ooh, a black pig. Hello. Very cool. Didn't know they came in black. 
Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. A Tasmanian devil. I love it. I love it to bits. Okay, so we put down a barrel here and let's just empty our pack of stuff for the moment because we're running out of space and uh, some of this stuff is really valuable. In fact, let's put the iron chest plate on because I, I want to feel like, you know, a bit more robust. There we go, much better. And now we can get all of this wood up from the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Amazing. Tree destroyed. Ow. Oh man, look at all this wood. We're going to have no problems getting wood whatsoever. Now, five oak chests become one supply camp. Boom, there we go. We're committed now. We have to make a camp and not a boat. But the question is now, how do we put down the camp? A right click here, and just like from Mine Colonies in all the mod 6, Feed the Bees, we get this very, very cool kind of template effect. Now, this is going to be a very important moment for us, because this is the moment where we decide what kind of building theme we're going to go, and we kind of commit to that going forwards. So there's Acacia, there's Asian, there is Birch, Caledonia is what we had before, but a, a, a boat, that looks really, really weird. An even taller boat? Yeah, that looks even weirder. Dark oak? Now, dark oak could be a good shout for us, although we've got lots of regular oak around in this forest, so I'm not sure about that. Fortress supply camp? Oh, we could have like a fortress town. That would be very, very, very cool. Jungle? Whoa, what the hell? What is this? What is that noise? Is that a duck? Is that the duck? Maybe it was the devil here. What's up, devil? I think it was. I think it was the Tasmanian devil. So we could do uh, a medieval birch. Medieval dark oak. What about medieval oak? Maybe medieval oak is good because this is like an oak forest. Maybe medieval oak is the way we want to go forwards. I think, you know what? I think this could be the one. Now, you know what? I think I like the idea of a fortress supply camp. It's not exactly what we're going to do going forwards. Yeah, I think I like the idea of fortress supply camp just because it's uh, it's kind of robust, kind of defensible. And uh, yeah, honestly, it looks kind of cool. We'll obviously have to dig some of these trees out of the way first. Okay, so there we go. That's a few trees taken out. Now let's shuffle this thing around until it's in the perfect position. Now, where was I? Here we go. Let's move it that way a bit. The moment of truth. Let's press go. Oh, not all blocks in the area meet the requirements. Recheck the highlighted blocks. Not a solid. Oh, so these blocks here have to be like a solid. And could it be? I think this is the one. Are we going to press go? Yeah, we're going to press go. Are you ready? Oh my god, it works. Boom, mine colonies. Welcome to mine colonies. Now that you have your supplies, how about searching a nice location to place your town hall to create your colony. Oh, amazing. Let's just kill this rude dude first. Go on, get out of dodge. Oh, fantastic. Let's let's take a look inside our supply camp and see what cool supplies we have. We've got hay bales. Uh, okay. We've got some dark oak saplings here. More dark oak saplings. Do these grow and become trees? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, look at this. A red banner. Looks very cool. That's going to be the new sigil for our town. We've got some basic logs. Oh my god! A full set of leather armor. Now, I've already got a full set of iron armor, so that's not that great. But it, it looks... Oh, whoops. But it looks really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the floor being grass. That's a bit... It's a bit messy. Maybe we can change that. So we've got wooden tools everywhere. Loads of bookcases. Loads of food. Most of it needs to be cooked, but that's fine. So what else? Where is our... Place your town hall where four chunks meet. F3 and G. Where four chunks meet? Is that like a, a, a cool tip? We've got some plants. Oh, bamboo! No way! So I was looking for bamboo in my other Mine Colonies playthrough, and this town hall comes with a fresh bamboo. That's amazing. 
There's also, check it out, a town hall and a build tool, which are going to be vital for us going forwards. There's a cactus, so we don't need a desert. Oh my god, and what does the roof hold? Well, not much, but a cool beacon. Oh man, amazing! This is a really cool supply camp. Much cooler than my last ship. Well, my dudes, thank you for watching episode one of our Mine Colonies playthrough. Things are off to an amazing start. We've got our supply camp and we've got what looks like the perfect little red-green forest to make our first town. It's also got room to expand over the river and into this pink flower biome. It's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait for next episode. Next episode will be tomorrow, so I can't wait to see you for that. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Consider becoming a YouTube member or become a Patreon member so you can play on my Minecraft server. Also, one of the things I'm going to be looking for in this series to add is cool names for my colonists. Also, if you have any tips for better Minecraft that you think I should know, faster ways of doing things and cool tricks and tips to get started, also let me know. We've got our supply camp down. Next episode, we're going to hit the town hall and the builder's hut in one go. Thank you for watching. I've been Shin. Hit like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.